Hey guys, and welcome back to Deep Fear. Okay, so when last we left off, I'm very much hoping we're in the right place. I think we are. Uh, so I've just recorded like some of this video, uh, oh, like 20 minutes of it. <laughs> and my I had a power cut. That was fun. But I think, hang on, have we got everything? We have. Okay. So, yeah, last time we left off, we explored this area. We, uh, our friend died. Yeah, that was fun. Uh, stabbed in the back by a very obvious uh, mutating uh, half prawn, half human. A bit gory, but, you know, we like that. Uh, very shocking, actually. I was surprised it happened. Oh, hello. Hello. Come to Papa. There we go. Take your medicine, love. That's it. Now, I've been uh, moaning as well about the f lack of a save station. Now, it's not necessarily a lack of a save station. We've just, well, I've just been examining the wrong thing. It's been so long since uh, I've actually had a look at a save station in this game. Uh, we do need to go to the junk area, yes. Uh, there's like the basic little box where you can recharge your, your air. And then there's the big box that does your saves and your air and all that kind of stuff. So that's where I've been going wrong. Um, so what else happened? Ah, we discovered that we need to make some kind of insecticide. Oh, yeah. This room's fun. Because unless you're very quick, you're going to get hurt. Oh, good. Yeah. This woman is uh, pretty agitated at us. I can't blame her, you know. We open the door, drop in on her and blow her brains out. You know, pretty rude by anyone's standards, to be fair. So, right, this is as far as we could get. So, we're lucky that we found this key card. Otherwise, yeah, that would have been a very short trip to the junk area. Couple of new enemies here. In fact, actually, just one new enemy there. Yeah, this guy sucks. I also discovered that apparently we... Yes, that hurts. We always have our harpoon gun on us. Who would have thunk it, huh? But we're going to use the harpoon gun. And we're going to shoot this guy. Because this guy needs to die. And we can put our harpoon gun back. Right, clean room. Not quite so clean it would seem let's go to the workers quarters have a little look around oh, hey friend You're just chilling yeah no real care in the world good man that's what we like to see bit of laid back cool attitude i like it give that man a raise anyway if we go here we can just like grab an unlimited amount of uh air grenades which is actually quite nice. What else do we have? I don't think... Is there anything else? Oh, an email from Pedro. Of course there was. Hi, Bob. Another Bob. We like Bob. Let's have another poker game tonight. I couldn't get much sleep la after last night's game. By the way, that insecticide doesn't work. I guess it's to start from scratch. I guess that keeps me uh, locked up down here for a while. Just, uh, I just remembered mixing the mixing ratio of the two substances for making the insecticides is the same as your birthday. No wonder it's bad. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. He's saying you're bad, or was your birthday bad? Who knows? You're probably wondering how I know your birthday. I know you have a picture on your desk with the date written on it. Well, I'll see you tonight, if you're not too chicken, that is. The Brazilian stallion, Pedro himself, the legend. Um, yeah, so... It's a picture of Bob at his birthday. It reads 1025, so we have a mixing ratio of 1025. The 10 parts of one thing to 25 parts of something else. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, I like the way the game literally spells that puzzle out to you it literally gift wraps you the answer uh, anyway let's check this dude out say what's going on here i hear explosions there's monsters everywhere i think i'll go crazy you know 
Yeah, I think you're going to go crazy too, dude. Not really sure why you're so chilled out, but, uh, hey, you know, dude, more power to you. Uh, all right, let's get the SMG out. So we're going to the control room. Okay. All right. Well, maybe there's nothing in the control room. That's fine. Oh, deactivate the... Yeah, we need to deactivate the lock to the chemical room. Ooh, what do you have? Oh, yeah. The shell box. Very nice. Thanks, friend. Uh, friend? Dude? Buddy? Pal? He's not moving. I think he's dead already. Either that or he's taking a nap. I know what my money's on. I see the trash disposer below. The trash disposer? Uh, the trash is compressed for disposal. Yes. Thank you. Great. Translation. Alright, well. Well, that sounded unpleasant. I don't think he's having a bad case of IBS. Nope. He's mutating. Well, luckily we've got the cure for that. with our pop gun. Yeah, there's just something about this Uzi. Sorry, friend. Can we examine his corpse? I guess not. Nope. Well, I mean, you know. At least he doesn't have to worry about going crazy anymore. Yeah, the, the Uzi is just... It's not a very satisfying weapon to use. Maybe that comes down to the sound effect as well. It's just not very visually pleasing. <laughs> I love the way Mare here just lurches forward underwater. It's fantastic. Excellent stuff. Okay. Right, now we have these weird, like, nutsack things. We're just literally going to blast away at them. Hope for the best. Alright, there's one deflated, large, pustious sack up on the floor. And the other one. Last magazine. That doesn't bode well. Alright, well, let's head downstairs. Put the piece away. Let's go downstairs with the rest of the trash. Oh, we've got hostiles, apparently. You know, I kind of like the Sega Saturn controller. And uh, I don't know if I've already said this before, but the Sega Saturn uh, boot-up chime is really nice. I like it. There we go. Come on, you damn monsters. That's right. Locked him good. Okay. Yeah, the boot up chime for the. Uh... Ah, we can actually save it. Yeah, I see. I actually saved the game here, which was bad. Luckily, this entire LP was saved due to the fact that we have save states. Uh, if I was running this on real hardware, we would have had a bad time. Now, we can't go any further this way because we need another keycard. And I believe at this point of the game, uh, when I was recording it before, I was going on about how linear this game is because it literally is point to point. And there's nothing wrong with that because, I mean, Resident Evil was kind of just point to point as well. There's a few extra little rooms around that you could explore, but, you know. Uh, the original Resident Evil feels a lot more open than it, uh, than it actually is. And the fact that it feels really open is actually, you know, quite a quite an achievement. Resident Evil 2 felt very open. Didn't really feel that linear at all. Right, so there's the second chemical that we need. I don't think there's anything else in here. Yeah, I think we're good. Is there anything else in this pocket? No. Alright, so we've got the two chemicals. Now we've got to go all the way back. 
And it was on the return journey that the power went out. <laughs> yeah, that was that 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 was um <clears throat> yeah, not a fun time. I was like, what? Every just everything went out in this dark room. It's just like, okay. That's fuck that. Right, let's drop a save. Drop a safety save. Uh, let's drop one there. Okay. I guess it pays to have a couple of like actual saves from way back when as well. Just in case something like that happens. Uh, I'm hoping to do some stuff with my GameCube uh, soon. I've bought a uh, card reader for it. And hopefully going to get some um, custom software on it. So I can actually start using my GameCube again. But then I need to buy like one of the HDMI converters for it. Which is like £80. Pounds. So, uh, you know, that's a far off project. Currently stripping it all down and cleaning it out. Right, let's get going. Nice. Yeah, GameCube actually turns out to be a very cheap and easy system to mod from what I can find online. 20 quid for the memory card. And six pound for the memory card uh, or the SD card reader. That's kind of insane. <laughs> and then you just got to download all the stuff, obviously. And you can back your games up straight on from the drive. But I think my drive is dead, which is why I don't use it. Ah, something fun to play with and tinker with. I love my modded consoles. Okay. Oh, we're almost out of air in here, but that's fine. We don't need to breathe. Breathing's overrated, damn it. Damn oxygen, who needs that? Okay, let's head upstairs. Well, I shaved about seven or eight minutes off that. I mean, it does help when you, <laughs> when you know where you're going. Oh, ass. Hang on, is there somewhere here that we can reload our weapons? Uh, maybe, can't remember. I will say the Glock is actually a really good weapon. Like, unbelievably good. It actually seems more efficient to use the Glock than the Uzi. So, or the submachine gun, I can't remember what they call it. Right, hey dude. How's it hanging? I feel dizzy from fever. Did you find the ratio of compound? Uh, how do you know about that? And yes. Yes, I did. That guy is going to mutate. So, oh. Oh, God. Wait, hang on. Looks like you failed! Oh, thanks. <laughs> Thank you, game. I didn't realize this was a start-stop thing. I thought we could actually manually type things in. Right, so we want 10 grams of that. That's nine. Oh, this is going to suck. Okay. 25. Oh, God. You've created an emergency aid. Uh, okay. Uh, not quite what we wanted, but I guess we can create other things, which is curious. Hey, you've created the insecticide. Brilliant. And somebody else is mutating. Dude, seriously. All right, let's take this guy out. And how is there now, all of a sudden, an oxygen limit here? Okay, can we fiddle with this again? It's the device to mix chemicals. If you have chemicals, you can... Okay. So I guess we can only mix one set of chemicals. Hey, friend. Uh, he's gone. He doesn't have anything in his pockets, either. Well, I guess we're going to go back to the storage room. I think. 
And if it's not the storage room, I don't know, Chief. Oh. Come on. Yeah, it's got to be said, the Glock is pretty good. It really is. I mean, aiming is a bit tricky, but it's not too bad. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. Where the hell are all these guys coming from? I mean, how many zombies could there possibly be? How many humans were around here? Uh, enough, I guess. Now, uh, yeah, let's go downstairs. So, I'm guessing the insecticide is going to show the laser up and we can step around the laser? Is that how it works? Yes. Kind of like uh, in Metal Gear when you can smoke cigarettes to show the laser beams. Um, right. So, storage it is. And I guess we're gonna pop that device. Oh, that scene. Okay. I like the fact that we had to make insecticide. Did that machine even use the insecticide? Uh, yeah. Right, so it strobes on and off, I see. I see. I wonder if we could have actually breached that. Ah, oh, bollocks. Got too close. Yeah, I wonder if we could have actually breached that beforehand by waiting for the lasers I mean I doubt it but I find that funny that we couldn't have used anything else like we couldn't have used some kind of smoke it had to be insecticide well, at least there's going to be no cockroaches around here I guess I'm glad the insecticide persists as well. Otherwise, we kind of would have been screwed. Boss is probably going to be curious as to why we're screwing around so much. I guess we can't manipulate that. Back to the passage area. Passages, eh? This game likes its passages. Okay, well, we'll keep the rebreather for now. Where are we on this? Yeah, I guess there's nothing here. There is poison gas, though. Now, can the enemies actually survive in rooms where there's no oxygen? That I'm curious about. Administration room for experimental animals. Oh, dear. That sounds fun. We have a little dog thing. Cool. Uh, the air system is damaged. We must replace the IC chip. Good. Great. Fantastic. I like it when the air system is damaged and we have to replace the IC chip. That's always fun. Uh, yeah. Let's... Sure. Save there. Now, if I was an IC chip, do we want to shoot these things? Great. Are these supposed to, What are these things? Uh, I don't think this is really going my way. I don't think we're even hitting them. Yeah, this is... Okay. No? Maybe? Can they even be killed? Doesn't look like these things can even be killed. Cool. 
Right, let's actually save some ammo. Oh god, for whatever's through here. Another passageway. But we need an IC chip. Okay. At least we have some clear instruction. Now we have some options here. Well, maybe we have some options here. Okay. Why does that... Look at this camera angle. Why does this camera angle actually get worse? It kind of... it it Yeah, it zooms in a little bit. That's it. That's, okay, that's... that's <laughs> really freaking odd. Alright. Uh, I guess we'll check this one. Hopefully there's something nice in this room. Guards quarters. Sounds like ooh yes. Oh sweet mercy. Deactivate the laser lock system. Oh yes please. Uh oh. Hi. Do you have any bullets for me? I came to fix the AS, but what was that thing anyway? Must have been a nightmare. Uh, yeah, uh, actually, I only came in here because I thought there might be some bullets here. <laughs> Monitors to each room. They're not functioning anymore. Okay. Well, I am very disappointed. I came here expecting bombs, rockets, grenades, you know. I found a sniveling, cowardly man. Okay. So, we can go up. So we've got two choices of ways to go. Uh, we can go around here. What's this? The retinal, the retinal. I'm gonna say lock system. Kind of looks like look system, but okay. You need to have someone from MI to unlock it. Okay. Right. So we actually, actually, we don't have two ways to go. We actually only have one way to go, which. Kind of makes things a little bit simple. This game does a good job of herding you in the right way. I mean, the submarine was a bit weird because they flip you upside down, which was actually pretty cool. Uh, okay. Definitely could use some air in here. Starting to get the feeling. Oh, that's just us breathing. Starting to get the feeling that nowhere in this area has any oxygen. This is Gina's room. Gee, I hope Gina isn't a big horrible monster. Okay. Sean, what's happened to the big table? There was an accident. And you? I couldn't get out because of the air system damage. Look at this. found this cell from one of the creatures. And this is a mouse's cell with the creature's cell implanted. What is it? The creature cell is transforming into the mouse cell at an unbelievable speed. Transforming? Right. This cell transforms into other living things and copies their original characteristics. I've never seen anything like I've seen it. A human turning into a creature. The transforming cell eats the original cells at a high speed and eventually takes over the body. Is there anything that can stop it? It, it must have a root cause. Something has to be done, but there isn't <coughs> enough data. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. I have had this cold since last night. <sighs> cold? Have you been attacked by a creature? Any other symptoms besides a cold? I've been attacked a couple of times. Really, no other symptoms. Can I draw some blood? Uh, am, I, am I being taken over, too? I don't know, but it just hit me that you've been attacked and haven't changed. If you don't change, we may have a lead. 
Hmm. Can we be being protected because we have a cold? I'll let you know the results. Then what are you going to do? I have to get back to the CDCD area. Okay, but to get out of this area, you have to go through the net lock system. And how do I do that? You need the help of an MI area researcher. If you could operate the air system, I could help you. But we can't go out because there's no air. Right. Oh. What about the chimpanzee? Anthony? I can't find them. I'm worried. Yeah, hopefully he's not mutating into a horrible monster somewhere. Okay, well, I mean, she's not being a complete and utter bitch to us, which is kind of nice. It's the latest electron microscope. So, I mean, if we're immune to this thing because we've got a cold, that's definitely different. Can't hold any more first aid kits. Well, you know what that means. That means we need to use first aid kits. Okay. It's kind of interesting that like health supplies and stuff are oh Gina's memo. It seems that parasites uh it seems it parasites only on mammals. Is that correct? Parasites? That's a very strange sentence. Duplicates itself. Signs very much like the common cold. Infects the brain at a very fast pace. Can only be found blood by blood tests. Multiplies at an explosive speed. Spreads from host to host. If exposed to the outer world, an estimated 264 hours or 11 days is all it would take to wipe out all the mammals on the planet. Should I contact Captain Clancy and have him stop the Deep Blue Project right away? Deep Blue Project? It does not parasite on subjects that are infected by other viruses. For example, influenza virus. Weakens dramatically when exposed to oxygen. Possible weakness. So they don't need, it doesn't need oxygen to breathe. Okay. Well, I mean, we're getting some plot. Uh, we still haven't been given an IC chip. We need an IC chip to get everything working. Uh, can you operate the AS? Then you can deactivate the retinal lock. But without the AS fixed, I'm afraid to go out. Right, so she will actually come with us only if we can fix the oxygen. Gotcha. Trouble is, uh, chaps, we... don't have... anything useful. Okay. Right, well, where would we find a chip? We've been everywhere. Guess we could go back to that guard. Well, the guard's dead, though. We could use some bullets. Not gonna lie. Very low on bullets. That's a problem. Shouldn't have wasted all that ammo on the dogs. I guess. Um, okay. So, I guess we're going back down. Where would we get an IC chip? Unless it's in the room with the dogs. Or maybe we've just overlooked it somewhere. Could it be in the storage room? Does that make sense? I mean, it makes sense, but it doesn't mean it's going to be in there. I guess we could talk to the guard unless he's horribly mutated now we're gonna have to use our last few bullets to put him down oh okay nope fine it's a dog cage it's destroyed from the inside yeah I can see that nothing useful here nothing useful here nothing useful here um okay 
a mouse cage. Air system. We must replace the IC chip. Hmm. Okay, so it still kind of works. We just can't use it to, like, recharge the actual air in this room. Uh, that's a bad thing. That's a problem. We're on half an hour now as well. Um. So, what else do we have down here? This is the guards' quarters. Is this dude dead yet? Is he mutated? To a horrible monster. So we deactivated the laser panels. Oh right, hang on, that's the laser. That's the laser lock system. Uh, I don't know why we. Maybe. Maybe we can search the room now. Now the laser lock has disappeared? Question mark. I don't know. Let's go and have a look, shall we? That does mean going back through here. Because <clears throat> the only lasers I can think of are those ones in the storage room. Right? Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. Makes sense to me. But then, you know, that's me. Thanks, dude. At least those dog things don't do a lot of damage. Small mercies and all that. No oxygen in here either. I mean, the fact that there's no oxygen around doesn't really seem to be a problem because it's not that difficult to go get your uh, oxygen replaced. Right, so let's look in this storage area. I mean, if I was an IC chip, which I'm not. I mean, I might be as far as you guys know, I suppose. But... I would be in storage, surely. Ah, oh, sweet. Yes. Yes, load up everything. Give me all of the bullets. Now, I see chip. I see chip. Hmm. No, I see chip. What's this way? Another passage, isn't it? Hmm. Unless we can take the chip out of the retinal scanner, which I don't think that's going to go down very well. I wouldn't bother taking your mask off, to be honest. You're just going to have to put your mask back on. Um. That's the evil. Ah. I wonder. Actually, let's try and go back to the e-pool. And I wonder if we can take the chip out of that one. Because I guess we don't really need a chip in the e anymore, do we? Kind of redundant. Given the fact that, you know, no one's in there anymore. Unless we have to go and fight our friend. No. No, we can't take the IC chip out of here. Okay. Well, kind of out of ideas for now. But anyway, we're again on like 35 minutes. Um, okay. I'm going to have a little bit of a thunk and a little bit of a walk around and maybe a little look up at a guide and see what I can find. So, thanks for watching, guys. Um, let me know what you think of this game. I think it's cool. I really do. Man, I, if the Saturn was a little bit more popular and took off a little bit better, I think we would uh, have somewhat fond memories of this game. Anyway, till then, guys. Thanks for watching.